Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Keen. In this video, we'll be discussing on our latest 1.4 update. In this update, we have changed our file structure quite significantly. The reason we've done, we, we've done this is because we've realized that as we add on more demos and more assets or more uh, elements within Keen to create more flexibility for our customers, we realized that our primary or main package is getting larger and larger and it may eventually reach to a point where it may be too large to be downloaded at one go. Therefore, we've moved all the files into our build tool and we allow you guys to build whichever demo you want after unpacking it. So let's just have a look between the two differences, um, basically the 1.3.9 versus the 1.4. So if you have a look here, this is the two um, uh, themes in different versions and uh, freshly unpacked. So on the left, we have the 1.9 and on the right, we will have the 1.4. At, at a glance here, it's, it's still fairly similar. Um, but however, once you get into the theme and you go to into default, that's where you first see the difference. In the latest 1.4, we will not be including the dist folder that comes included in previous versions or basically 1.3.9 and below. And all these files that comes within the disk is um, not packaged within the, uh, the zip file that's provided once you download it. Also, what we would like to share is if we look into the source folder for 1.4 and 1.3.9 below, you'll notice that our source for us looks really different. This is because what we've done here is we've, or we've reorganized our source so that each of our assets are parked within the assets folder within source and all our JS and SAS files are now neatly packed within a root JS and a root SAS. So compared with our previous uh, versions, all our SAS and JS are basically organized in a manner where it is parked within each feature or each page uh, within the theme. Now our JS and SAS files are now packaged individually, and not say individually, it is packaged within a root JS and a root SAS. So if you go into the uh, JS, you get to see the vendors and also the theme. And within the theme, you see our core and even the, uh, the demo pages where each demo will have its uh, own JS files uh, when it needs to. And also one thing that we like to mention is our default demo is no longer called default. It's now called demo one. And if we have a look at our SAS, uh, similar with our new JS structure, uh, all of SAS is now neatly packed into its in individual uh, folders, like all our bootstraps are all here, all our vendors are now all here, and in our theme, we have our core uh, SAS files, our pages, our custom pages SAS files, all in the apps or general, whichever that's, uh, that you need to use, uh, let's say use to view. And then all our demos are in each demo. Similar with our JS, our default demo it has been renamed, renamed to demo one. And yes, this is how the new structure works. So that now that you've seen the source file, a source folder, uh, let's go back to our default uh, folders. You might be wondering how do we compile our assets. Similar to our uh, previous uh, methods, you just have to go into our tools and you will find our build.json. And our build.json is uh, similar to what we used to have in our config folder called the default.json. Now, we have removed the config folder and just placed the build in the primary or in the tools folder instead because we don't really need an extra folder there. And what it does, what, what we've done here is uh, all the config 
uh, fields and build fields are similar. They are exactly the same actually. The difference is we now have two additional fields to just indicate that uh, the name and the version of Keen. And how you um, how you can just uh, customize this is also similar to the older versions. But don't worry. Um, what we'll do is we will recreate videos and tutorials to reintroduce Keen and reintroduce the theme along with how the new file structure works. So uh, keep an eye on that. We will be releasing those videos uh, fairly soon. So now you'll be wondering how do we build or compile the, the demo files and even the assets. Similar with uh, what we've done before, we need to just type in CMD in or uh, CMD within the build uh, within the tools folder to open up our command line or command prompt. Uh, for Max, you just need to open a terminal and then navigate to the tools folder. And once you're there, you need to run yarn. Or if you haven't run uh, or installed all your Node.js and stuff like that, you can. However, it's not necessary to do that. But um, if you want to compile a run gulp on Keen, you would need to run yarn to install all its dependencies. And once that's done, I will show the next change that we have in the latest version 1.4, which is uh, how we run gulp. Okay, um, we've done um, uh, running yarn or installing our dependencies. The next thing we need to do, previously in 1.3.9 and, and before, what we do is we just type in gulp and let it run. And what you do is you will deploy a compile and deploy all the assets, all the CSS and JS assets into our assets folder. Um, for 1.4 and above, what we need to do is we need to type in gulp build. What this does is it will then build all our HTML files and put it into our disk our this folder so that you will have all the HTML files there and package neatly. Uh, now let's just run gulp build. So now that our our gulp build is done, we can just go to our default and as you can see here, our this our this folder is now back where it's supposed to be. Double click that and all our demos is all here. Our assets they're all back as what it's supposed to be. Uh, where where it's supposed to be. Now let's have a look at our demo one and look at our index our HTML. As you can see here, uh, all our files are now working and compiled neatly. Uh, it, oh, we will run basically the, exactly the same as uh, what you know and love with Keen. And uh, yep, so is is. We specifically made it also easier for you guys to browse through our demos because everything's all neatly packed within the like you just go ahead you just have to go to the default theme just go to the disk and all demos are right there and then you can just go to demo uh, two go to our index and you see our demo two uh, similar with our demo three and can so on and so forth and you can just go on from there. So that's about it on this video. So uh, please subscribe to us and turn on the notification bell so that when once we release our other videos, you get an update. We will be uh, re-releasing -re all our introduction videos, our customization, and even the your first project video with this new file structure. So keep an eye on that, and I see you in the next one. Take care.